It was a big blow to some telco subscribers when they discovered that their Ghana cards have been used to register strange or unknown numbers. I use two numbers for networks A and B, and both have undergone the two stages of the same registration exercise. Amid the raging concerns, I visited my network providers to check if my Ghana card details have been used to register strange numbers. And at both offices, it was clear only my two mobile numbers have been linked to my Ghana card. But here is a quick observation I made. At network A, they found my number A as the only number on my Ghana card. They could not tell that my number B is also linked to the card. As curious as I was, I checked with network B and they found only my number B. They also could not tell my number A is also linked to my Ghana card. If you go to a particular network provider, you would see that network provider would not be able to see across networks to find out who else is connected to it. So once the short code comes in, that short code will be connected to the central SIM database that would that resides with the NCA. So that would be able to tell you across platforms uh, how many SIMs are connected to your your phone. Members of the Ghana Chamber of Telecommunications, including Vodafone, MTN and Airtel Tigo, are in the process of delinking a wide range of SIM cards. Mobile phone subscribers who do not complete their SIM re-registration exercise by close of today, April 17, will have their numbers deactivated. So it means that not only would you have been barred, but you know, your data will be delinked from the particular SIM card. So what it would mean is as if that number never belonged to you and has been chained and be put back into the system and would be reissued. But is there a provision for persons with genuine concerns? When the directive was given for these numbers to be barred, it was also said that anybody who had any issues why they have done only stage one and could not do stage two should get in touch with the NCA, and some people did. But then if you have started it, then the assumption is that you had a Ghana card which you used in doing your phase one. So why are you not doing the phase two? Just like you. I am patiently waiting for the NCA's short code so I can verify phone numbers that have been linked to my Ghana card. Christian Yale, TV3 News.